Hi guys! So today I thought I would answer a question that I get asked quite frequently and that is how did I come up with the names for Reese and Hartford for my kids? And they both have stories behind the names so I thought I would do a video and share the stories with you guys. So let's start with Farise. When I was pregnant with her, uh, I was a teacher and I had just associated names that I liked with students. So that name belonged to that student. And uh, even if I liked the student, I still didn't want to name my kids that name because that name sort of belonged to them. Plus, when I was growing up, if there were other Lauras in class, I was called Laura B. And I, I guess I just didn't want my kids to be called, you know, have to deal with the last initial being named in school. And so I like the idea of a balance of two things. And so Frieza's name stems from fire and ice. So two things that are balancing one another. And, but we didn't want to call her fire ice because that just didn't sound right. Uh, and we also liked the name Reese when we were talking about names. So we thought, uh, we, I guess we wanted um, her name to be also spelt phonetically so that people could uh, read it and be able to pronounce it. And we also wanted her to be able to go by a more common name if she wanted to, which was Reese. So that's why it's F-I-R-E-E-S-E -E -E is for Reese. So if she wanted to, she could go by Reese. And uh, if she wanted something unique, she could go by Farise. And she still goes by Farise. She really, really likes her name, so I'm really glad. But the funny thing is, is the other name we were considering was Stella because that's my husband's grandmother's name and he just absolutely loved his grandmother. But at the time, my mom was working in uh, uh, tech support and their intercomputer system or what have you was called Stella. And so every day she was like, Stella! Like she was so angry at the name and we just couldn't do that. It just would seem weird. So we ended up going with Freeze, and after she was born, I don't know, a couple of months, I was like, should we change her name? Did we do the right thing? I was so worried. You know, as a parent, you're so stressed out about, you know, want, not wanting to scar your children or saddle them with, you know, a name that they might not be happy with. But so far, so good. She likes her name. And as I said, she can go by Reese if she wants to. And so that's how that name came to be. And now Hartford, uh... Well, okay, so Hartford is named after my mom. Hartford was her last name. And when we were trying to get pregnant the first time, it took us three years to get pregnant with Freeze. So we had infertility issues. And we went through the whole process and the poking and the prodding and the trying to figure out how to get pregnant. So we finally got pregnant with Freeze three years after the process started. And so we knew that when we were going to have a second one that, you know, we try a couple times and if it didn't work, we were going to go straight to the thing that worked uh, to get pregnant with freeze. We weren't going to have to go through all of the steps like A, B, C, D to get to there. Uh, so after a couple months, we started the process and the first one failed. And then the second one failed. And then the third one failed, and we're just like, this is crazy. We got pregnant with Freeze the first time we uh, did the procedure. So uh, our doctor recommended four to six tries. They said usually it's between that time that if that's the thing that's going to work, then it'll work. And it was the sixth time, and we're just like, okay, this is the time, this is the time. And it failed. And so I said, we have to try one more time. Like, we can't give up now. So of course, one more time we tried for the seventh and it failed. <laughs> so our doctor said, this is probably not what got you pregnant with Freeze. Like she's just kind of a miracle baby. And if it was what got you pregnant, then it should have worked at least seven, within the seventh time. Uh, so the doctor said, we don't know, we don't know. And they, we basically were told that we probably could not have a second child which was fine because we were blessed enough to have one. And with me being adopted, I really wanted that little genetic connection. And I really wanted somebody that kind of looked like me. I know that sounds really silly, but my mom was four foot 11 and had brown hair and brown eyes. And I'm, you know, five, almost 5'10 and don't have brown hair and brown eyes. 
So, uh, and of course, Freeze comes out looking exactly like her dad. So that was that. <laughs> but anyway, um, so we just accepted the fact that we were gonna only have one child and went on about our lives. And then uh, my mom died very, very suddenly, out of the blue. Uh, I posted a video on that story. Uh, so after she died, literally the first time my husband and I were together, we got pregnant. And it was the weirdest thing because, you know, uh, I was stressed. I was very, very sad, very, very depressed. And uh, we, of course, didn't assume that we could get pregnant. And I remember saying to my husband, I said, I think I'm going to test. I, I feel like something's weird. And he goes, okay, you know, go ahead. Laughing almost in his head, thinking I'm a, a nutcase. And so I tested. And as soon as, you know, I, I did it, it's like, boom, positive. And I, my husband and I were just both like, how? How could this happen? Uh, so we, uh, we call him our little gift from grandma because she left and he came. And so how could we not name him after her? So that's how he got his name Hartford and we do call him uh, Hardy some for short. But we thought, you know, if you wanted to be uh, a, a corporate, like a CEO or something, Hartford Berg sounds like a strong, like powerful name. And you know, if he wanted to be like a rock star, he could be Hartberg. So he has, he has options. But for now, he's just my little Hardy. So there you go. That is how uh, we came up with the names for our kiddos. I would love to hear some of your names chosen for your kids and how you came up with those. Because it's really not easy. I remember when we were talking about uh, naming free Stella and we mentioned it to my mom. My mom was like, no, don't name her that because I hate the name Stella because Stella frustrated her every day at work. But I thought if I love that name and I really, really wanted to name her that, then I would have been upset that my mom didn't want me to name her that. Uh, so a word of advice, don't tell people if, uh, because people have tons of opinions on names if, uh, before the baby comes, but if the name is actually attached to a baby, people aren't going to say anything. Even if they are saying it in their head or behind your back, they won't say it to your face. So, but yeah, I'd love to hear what you named your baby and how you came up with the name. So guys, thanks for watching as always. Be sure to subscribe to my channel to be notified when I post new videos. Bye for now.